Hey everybody, it's Kim and I have a Coca Rosa share to do. I order the items, they let me choose, and then I share them with you. So um, that will be what I'm sharing today. One of them is a snowflake corner die. Love this. And I use this on a couple of different cards. This is a cutie patooties all mixed up here, but I'll show you the polar bear. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six different ornaments you can make. And they are, I didn't use all of them on cards, but most of them. And then I also used, got this um, alphabet and I just kept them attached and you color them in and it is quite, you know, there's time invested in that, but you'll see how I use them. And just, I realized, why am I coloring the whole alphabet? So I went ahead and just did the letters I needed for my cards. And, oh my gosh, they are so super cute. I love this set. Um, yeah, so I just cut them out on um, cardstock, white cardstock, 110 pound, and then colored them in and put them together. So they're very super. This is a picture I copied off of the website of how each one, they had each one looking. So there you go. Okay, so let's get started. So here's the polar bear. Let me get Oh my gosh. So what I did here is I cut the paws. I don't know if you can tell, but I cut it right into the white of his paw. Like this one got covered by the N and then put um, pink behind it. And I just colored some pink. And here are his little cheeks. And then I put a black piece behind for his mouth or his no, mouth, eyes and nose. This is a little red piece that comes out too. Here's a scarf that you just, I colored up. And then I just used, I cut out these little paw claws here, but I used the piece, the stenciling type piece, and just use that to space them apart and color them in. There's that snow. Oh, see how pretty that is. And then here are my letters. So here's the S, and it came with a little holly. There's the N. So fun. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun coloring these in. And the W. This was an M. <laughs> so I tipped it up because I, I realized they're using M and W as the same reverse, but I'd already colored it. So there we go. And then this is just paper I um, printed up from Snap Clip, Des Clip Designs. So pretty. I really like how he turned out. I added some white to make it look like his, it's a furry little ball there. Yep, so, so much fun. Look at the little snowman. He's the O. I did, that is adorable. All right, so there's that card. So I used the letters, the polar bear, and the snow on that one. So three of the dies that I ordered. Okay, super fun. Here's one with the ornament die. Again, I did, so I use that as my O. There's the J letter and the Y is antlers. And yeah, so I again printed this up from digitals. And this is the diamond press little pearls I put on the side. I actually printed the red paper because I was having a hard time matching that red so it matches perfectly. I think it turned out really cute. So here's where I used an ornament as the O rather than the O, the snowman. Oh, and this scallop, I dug deep into the vault. And here is one of the original, I mean, this is Creative Time dies before she did her new packaging. And I don't know if the scallop stitched oval dies. I have no idea, but there it is if you're looking for it. So, made that layering super easy. These are all five by seven cards. Then I did one <coughs> with using this, this. The red is like trying to look like hooks on the ornaments. Someone had sent me, thank you, whoever you were. I'm terrible about labeling stuff. This pretty um, rickrack. So I incorporated that. I used the snow again dies, the letter dies, 
and the ornament dies on this one. So here is what I came up with. A little bit of so again, I put Noel on this one, and there's the N. Little Santa belt. O. There's E with the antlers and the L with little Holly. There are my ornaments. So these two layer. This one you just color in. So I colored in with my chalks on that one. And then you do the silver. Here's the, here's the hooks. And of course, this one doesn't really need one. I think it's in there, but it's not showing. Anyway, so there's a bow. And then it's hanging from this pretty, pretty. That's my idea anyway. And so I use that snow corner die on both top corners so that they had something to hang from. And this behind it's a little busy. I don't know if I would do that again, but it's ornament paper that I've had on my digital as well. So yeah, friends, we had friends. We ate so much food. I don't know. So we're not going to get together until we're going to do New Year's Day because everybody's busy in December. I've got lots of weekend stuff coming up and so does everybody else. So we will get together on New Year's Day when nobody has anything to do, right? So those are my shares. I just loved. Yes, there's a time investment in the alphabet, but if you're just doing the letters, you know you're going to use. I was trying to do, like I said, the whole. I love this polar bear. I just think he is adorable. In the picture that they have for the die, it's he's holding presents, and I have those dies. I just didn't use them this time. He's holding up the N. I just think, and I, again, I'm just loving those letter dies. So yeah, check them out. I'm, you know, I love Cocorosa, and you get a good coupon with me. Will be listed below. I believe it's 25% again, and the alphabet, and I use the. Polar bear. So very fun dies, very fun to create while we were all hanging out together. We listened to Christmas music. I made French dip in the crock pot. So good. And yeah, just had a really good time. All right, guys, let me know which one you is your favorite down below. All right. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.